Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips on catching your own fiddler crabs to use as bait. These are a great bait to use for black drum, sheep's head, also redfish, and some small tarpon will also take fiddler crabs as well. So I wanna give you some tips on where to look to find fiddler crabs so you can catch them on your own to use for bait. That way you don't have to waste any money going to the bait shop. And also how to properly rig them up to effectively use them to catch fish. So first, let's take a look at some areas where you can actually catch some fiddler crabs. I'm actually in a spot right now, so I'm gonna show you what to look for when looking for this type of bait. Now these fiddler crabs, they can be found all along the shorelines of inshore waters. And what you wanna look for is some type of structure on the ground. As you see here, there's uh, piles of dead grass, also some dead tree limbs, and they like to burrow in this grass and also will uh, create holes in the ground where they will burrow. Now these holes are a dead giveaway that there are fiddler crabs in the area and it usually looks like a minefield of holes just scattered all throughout the ground. And these crabs will burrow just a few inches into the ground. You can use a sand flea rake or you can just uh, dig up the holes by hand or by foot and get the crabs out of there. Now it's helpful to have some type of net or a bucket with you to collect them into. Now as far as collecting them, you just kinda kind of have to improvise. You can just fling them into the net like so, or try to spook them to the edge of the water, and it's a lot easier to scoop them up in the net as they will uh, go into the water and they can't really move around much, so it's a lot easier to catch them that way. As you can see, if you're in a good area and they're easy to catch, you can get quite a few pretty quickly. Now for storing these guys, you don't really need much, just a small bucket or even a small cup. And a little bit of water in there will actually help keep these little guys alive pretty much all day. So don't need much to store them. Now as far as getting them rigged up on your rod, I like to put them on a little jig head. It just gives a little more weight so that you can get a bigger cast. I use a 1 8 ounce jig head. Color doesn't really matter, but some fiddler crabs, they go with, uh, to a slightly orange color to a black or a dark color. So if you try to match the color of the fiddler crab, it'll definitely help you out. I'm going with a kind of a copperish orange color. That's usually what I go with. Now, if you do only have a few in the bucket and you don't want to get your fingers pinched, what I like to do is just grab a pair of pliers reach into the bucket and grab them by the claw. Try not to break their claw off. I like to keep the claw on because that sort of gives them a little bit more contrast in the water. They're easier to see. Just grab them from the back or you can actually grab them by the claw. Then just put the jig head through the body. Doesn't really matter which way. claw broke off there and once they're on there they're good to go and they'll pretty much stay alive now I typically use these to sight cast to fish or just drop it straight down to bridge piling or anything like that where sheep's head might hang out just wait for the bite set the hook so if you have any questions on finding and catching fiddler crabs to use as bait or putting them on a hook um, but aside from the jig head I also like to use a small circle hook if I don't have to cast very far uh, with a split shot weight about a foot to two feet above the hook that just gives it a little weight and it doesn't give it so much distraction that the jig head does up there so I just like to go with the jig head especially in darker water the fish can't really see it they'll pick up on the scent of the crab and pick it up so again if you have any questions about this video please feel free to leave a comment down below and also if you haven't checked out our salt strong insider membership be sure to go to saltstrong.com forward slash insider and check that out what you get are very detailed fishing reports, and we talk about the trends that are going on in certain areas. And you can apply these trends to wherever you may be, whether it be Texas, Georgia, the Carolinas, Florida, Louisiana, you name it. So definitely check that out. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.